What's up YouTube? Back in the garage again. Um, I'm still trying to finish my, my damn floor. You know, it's like 600 plus feet of uh, tile that I'm trying to lay. But I got myself a early Christmas gift. So here's my Magnum Lincoln, or Lincoln Electric Magnum 1000 SG, part number K2532-1. Works uh, with a lot of the smaller, cheaper welders, like a, my little HD 150 there. Home Depot, maybe Lowe's if they carry that shit uh, special. Um, it came just like in the package there it came with tips it came with one spool and the gun and 10 foot cable i had to go get a bottle which was like 200 something bottles or dollars got run pure argon but so far it worked pretty well um real easy hook up you know un unspool your your old shit plug in the new shit this machine came already spool gun ready so I didn't have to open it up and add the um, jumper plug and six pole switch to make it um, trigger sensitive. Um, that runs the electric motor in the uh, machine or the one that goes in the spoolie gun. So I did not have to hook this up. It looks terrible, but I guess a lot of Lincolns already has the hole right there and a sticker to let you know Hey, this is for your normal MIG welder. This is for your spoolie gun. That way it sends the power to the spoolie gun electric motor and not your welder's motor. And let's see. Like I said, here are the tips. And well, let's get a close up of the gun. It's plastic, it's light, it looks nice, works pretty well. Um, it's not quite your normal TIG welding because like it does, uh, I don't know what they call that. Um, doo -doo -doo. trying to plasma welding kind of, it's using the arc to do everything. So since I use gas core, my negative was actually my positive and my positive was actually the ground because that's how gas cores work. You don't want all the heat. Um, in the wire you want it in the metal but if you're using gas it's ground is ground just like the spoolie gun is plus so um, I made some ugly welds stupid name tag that look like this so here's my 20 inches I was trying to do it without having two seams, but since I cut down the middle, I can't get 20 inches out of it. So on the back here, I will use my Dremel and bevel that out and fill it in and hammer it. But for the most part, even with the ugly welds, as you see, once it starts getting hot, it lays down really nice. And I stopped to get the other side going, or I started this side actually first because that's the ugliest. Um, trying to figure out the, the actual wire speed and whatnot. And the hotter you get the aluminum first before you even weld, the better that lays out. <clears throat> but I will bevel the backside, weld the piss out of it, grind this all down, bevel it again, weld the piss out of it. And it should be solid and firm because supposedly I don't have enough juice to weld through stuff this thick. But you do multiple passes and pray to all the gods it should hold together worst comes to worse i will kind of do like this uh make a plate put some nuts and bolts through it and um have a just in case my welds crack situation um ebay special not sponsored by them or lincoln be nice but i'm not um i think it was just over 300 bucks shipped and then the bottle, at least out here, was uh, two and some change. Um, 30, $32, $33 in taxes. Yeah, California taxes. Um, but yes, I could weld aluminum now. I'm pretty stoked. So now if I want to make anything kooky and 
have ugly welds, I can do it now. And aluminum, not just. So here is all the welds ground down. Looking spiffy, almost factory. I actually had to add that piece in. So on the inside, I'm not caring too much. Uh, it clears the drive shaft. Um, I am going to do the, hey, let the big kid jump on a test and see if something uh, snaps, which I doubt. So there is plenty of filler. Then added that piece in there so there's not just one big huge hole. And then down here, it's holding about 100 horsepower. And then that's about it. I finally cut off that gas thingy. So I gotta figure that last chunk out. So now it's all no more weird color thing. I will add the ground back to it somehow if I really do actually need it. But uh yeah, that is where I'm at. The uh new uh Lincoln uh welder gizmo worked pretty good. Um, works better if you preheat the metal, uh, depending on how thick you're welding. Um, this came out really nice. I don't see any cracking. This is my third pass on it. So other than work hardening the, the aluminum, but um, it should be fine. We'll find out, you know, best thing to do is do a big old burnout when you first assemble your car, see what breaks. Uh, joking aside, it is done, and so on and so forth. So let's cut back to the other video where I only did part of this, so I wanted to show everyone exactly, you know, how much I had to add here. Steel, and then like take this radiator here. I mean. That might be a gun, that might be some guy in China, I don't know. But if I want to add a port here, for a steam port, for the LS, because uh, daddy spent some money, got himself a parts car. So it runs, it leaks, just like every Chevy. Uh, so front seal, main seal, and then tail shaft seal. I mean, it's like 40 bucks in parts, but a gang load of labor. But if I am putting it in here, it's all going to come apart because I only want to make a stick shift car anyways. So, like I said, I'm going to run it on the factory ship for now until I piece together some more money and gather the parts because I still got to find a diff. And I'm still debating about going G-Tag or the Ford 88. Um, and then I know what trans I want and that whole kit's like 5Gs. And then, you know, it's either Fly Miata, Monster Miata, or whatever for the sub member. And then I'll probably run the stock ECU and get HP tuners. And yeah, you can run low boost. I mean, like, I can only fit like a 215, maybe a 225 under the rear of this. So even all motor with the cam, you know, that 5.3. It'll be good enough truck intake whatnot you know i'll boost it later maybe but i am doing a lot of flooring a lot of flooring let me show you the flooring i'm doing actually might as well see why it's been taking me so long all this is flooring 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 or flooring flooring And a fireplace. So, uh, that room is like 17 by 11. So, do the math right there. The hallway, the laundry room, um, the front entry to the house. Yeah, doing that all myself. So, that's a lot of tile and grouting. So, I'm almost done. I just gotta get the grout down. And then I can go back to finishing this. Uh, got the seats in and then still got to do the sound detonating. 
I think I found the company that makes these uh, seat covers. So I'll see about getting that. And then the upholstery foam because the old stuff is very, very uh, fire um, not resistant. So there I'm at. Got a new, new toy to play with to build some stuff. Um, since I know it's 20 inches, I'll go get the drive shaft extended, hopefully sometime this week. And that's it. So thanks for liking, subscribing. Um, peace out.